All right, happy Friday. Welcome back to Concepts and Training. Diving into assessments again, but this time looking at the concept of qualitative and quantitative assessments, right? Because a lot of times we focus on quantitative assessment. So what does that mean? Well, we've got a numeric or data-driven uh, metric that we're tracking over time. A lot of times people like to track one rep maxes, right? Um, being able to track one rep maxes, being able to track you know, you know, 10 yard times, 20 yard times, 40 yard times. These are basically numeric or data numbers that we can get. Those are quantitative. We can see them, they're hard, they're on paper. Um, they are able to be able to track over time uh, very statistically. They're scientific, as a lot of people like to think. But there's another thing we have to consider, and that's qualitative assessment. Because sometimes, especially if you're new to training, we probably don't need to max out right away. Because the big thing we need to look at is skill, and the big thing we need to look at is being able to move weight in a way that makes sense um, and has a, uh, a relative safety to it. So when we look at those things, qualitative movement, right? So this is what I like to call them video review. So being able to look and identify, okay, well we know a bar path, you know, on let's just say a clean looks like this, all right? And being able to overlay and compare and contrast what it looks like initially and kind of taking an assessment, all right, this is what this looks like over time. Now, obviously, in that time, your weight on a bar might increase because you're creating neural adaptations and you're getting stronger, but when we look at qualitative assessment, we're looking at the quality of your movement and the quality of training. You can actually get some data on that by one, your perception of it, how does it feel, right? Especially when we're talking about moving weight. Well, how does, let's just use a squat for example, how does squatting the bar feel on day one versus how does squatting the bar feel on day 10? How does that feel on day 20? All of a sudden you reassess and say, well, now I can squat 135 pounds. How does 135 pounds feel the first time versus the fifth time? All of a sudden we can start to look and we can start to compare it too. We can take video evidence, right? We can take a camera, right? This is being filmed on a camera. You can film a set and be able to look at it and compare and contrast, right? So sometimes when we look at it, we can have quantitative PRs, okay? This is the, the concept of quantitative analysis and being able to understand, you know, whether it's power outputs, max weights, right? So total force, might be speed, it might be a vertical jump, a broad jump, something you have a quantitative number that you can track over time. And then we also have qualitative. So what is the quality of what we're doing? So that's just two different ways to different ways to kind of contrast, you know, assessment. A lot of times you get caught in the mindset of a qualitative assessment and a quanti uh, yeah, quantitative and kind of a quantifiable metric that we're always trying to track. But a lot of times we also need to take into consider qualitative, you know, the quality of reps, the quality of movement, the quality of how it feels um, just overall as we move through training because that's also gonna give us feedback as if we're going in the right direction. So that's just two different ways to look at assessment um, because a lot of times, like I said, we get caught in that quantifiable and that quantitative assessment, but sometimes we need to also have that qualitative as part of our training.